Hey Stable Kids, hey parents, I hope you guys are doing really well. Well, this week we are continuing our series on WWJD. What would Jesus do? That's right. Let's check out what our characters are up to this week. My pen, my pen, la 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 la. I'm gonna draw on the wall with my fancy, fancy pen. Hey, Dimitri, what you up to? Heh, um, nothing. Are you drawing on the walls? Um, maybe. Do you think you should be drawing on the walls? Well, I know my mom says I shouldn't, but I want to, Beatrice. It's gonna be so fun. Don't do it, Dimitri. You'll get into even more trouble. Hmm. You know, this reminds me of another Bible story. Can I tell you about it? Sure. Soon after Jesus was baptized, he went into the desert for 40 days. Suddenly, the devil came and tempted Jesus. Hey, Jesus, you must be hungry. <laughs> You, if you are the son of God, tell these stones to turn into bread for you to eat. No, God says that we don't live on bread alone, but on all the words of God. Yay, Jesus. Next, the devil took Jesus to the temple. Hey, Jesus, prove that you're the son of God and jump down. The Bible says in Psalms that the angels will catch you. Go away. The Lord says, don't you dare test the Lord your God. Next, the devil took Jesus to a mountaintop. Look, all of this land can be yours if you just bow down and worship me. Leave me, Satan. God says you must worship him only and him alone. Then the devil went away and angels came and took care of Jesus. See, Dimitri, if we want to be just like Jesus, then we have to say no to doing the wrong thing. Even when I really, 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 really want to? Especially then. Okay. Well, there you go. You know, Dimitri was being naughty in the story and doing something that he knows he shouldn't be doing. Well, Jesus set an example for us by saying no to the things that he knows that God doesn't want him to do. You know, in our own lives, just like Jesus, we can ask God to help us say no to the things that are bad. You know, when your parents or teachers tell you not to do something, it's wise for us to listen and not do it. We can also say no to people when they ask us to do something that we know we shouldn't do. So have a conversation with your siblings and your parents around you. What are some of the ways that we can say no to the things that are bad and the things that we know we shouldn't do. I hope you have a great conversation and I'll see you guys next week.